Hi, I'm Philip Borgo, the author of Star Explorer, and I'm going to walk you through cre creating an API on top of iCare US using Star Explorer. A few years ago, I had a side project to create a better UX on top of uh, online groceries. Um, unfortunately, the, the stores I chose were not providing any APIs, so I had to resort to scrapping. Scrapping is fine, but it's got its own shortcomings. Usually the scrapping code is a mess and so it's difficult to test and also it's difficult to keep track of the changes in the underlying scrap site. So refactoring by refactoring, I created Store Explorer. Store Explorer is a library that allows you to create defined simple scrappers, uh, only using selectors and things like that. So by having your scrappers really that simple, all the problems should go away. So to do this uh, demonstration of Store Explorer, we're going to try to scrap IQ a US website and to fill in this script uh, as we're going on. So the first thing to do is to get the IQ website URL we want to scrap. And um, every matcher in Store Explorer uses a substring to match uh, URLs. So here, the part we were interested in is the domain and the country. So we're just going to use that and we're going to run the script. Here, nothing happens as expected, but at least we've got defined a, a scrapper for the IQ website. Next thing we're interested in, usually in stores, is the list of categories. So um, having defined a few stores, I know that usually in the footer you can find all the categories. So here they are. Let's just inspect that in Chrome. For example, the, here it is. We see that everything is within a div with the department link block class, and it's just links. So we'll try this right here, and we get all the links. That's fine. So to define, to pick these categories in Store Explorer, it's really simple. Just copy the selector, and here, define categories. That's all. And here we're just going to walk through these categories. Puts, and we're going to print the title of the category. The title is just the text in the incoming link, so it's really used internally and not, uh, you shouldn't, shouldn't use it as real data. But as a first uh, try here, it's fine. So you see it's a bit dirty. Uh, so this should be better. That's it. So here we've got all the different categories in the IQ website. That's great. So let's see if we can get things a bit better. So to do that, what we're going to do is to head back to the IQ website and dive into the bathroom categories. So here we've got all the bathroom. Um, what we'd like to have here is the name of this category uh, in a better better format than what we've got in the title. Usually a good place to look into is the breadcrumbs. Again, inspect that and we see that we've got an ID breadcrumb new and uh, an active link. And uh, here is the text we are interested in. So what we're going to do in here, we're going to define attributes. So attributes do just define a map name. We've got a page object we can access to. And here again, we'll just be providing the selector for the breadcrumb. You can get the content. And to make things clean, let's just strip that. And here, instead of printing uh, the full title, we'll print the attribute. Let's try that. So you see, it's a bit slower because this time is going into every category page. So in order to fix that, uh, for, for the moment, it's enough. It's all right. What we want to do now 
is to see what we can find in this bathroom categories. As you see, there's no direct items here, but you've got some subcategories. So it's completely recursive. So let's just inspect that again. And we see that uh, again, we've got something like a department links and an A. So as before, we can define new subcategories here, categories. Department links A do same thing. And now uh, we're going to dive into that. So maybe we don't want to dive into all categories. So we'll, we'll just we'll just um, go through into the bathroom category. That's it. So here you can see what the title is for. With this you can select which uh, part of this of the store to dive into without having to go actually get the page and here we're gonna do uh, category dot categories dot each do uh, I think yeah I just forgot the dot so here we've got subcategories And we're going to put let's try that oh again it's a bit messy it's a bit messy so we'll try to make things simpler uh let, let's just try if the breadcrumbs work the same way in this page i guess so See what this gives. Fine. Fine. So let's have a look at the first subcategory in the IQ website uh, sync cabinets. So, what are these sync cabinets? Sync cabinets. Um, oh, here are the items. So, we should be able to define the items and print interesting things. So, let's try as we did before, inspect that one and uh, here it is. Let's try. Oh, unfortunately, it's something dynamic. So that might not be the best place to look into. So all content. Maybe we can just dive in to find things. Main content. Main. Product lists. First grid. And here we've got, what have we got? Product details, product details, and just a link here. So that might be it. Product details and a link just below. Let's try that. So to define the items, it's as simple as defining the categories in Store Explorer. Just do the items and then with the selector you want. So product details A. Do. And that's it. So in here now we should be able to dive into the items and here again we're going to put one two three one two three item dot title for the moment uh, maybe uh, we'll just uh, take uh, two of these this will make things faster let's try that oh it's still a bit dirty but as as usual, it is with the titles. This might be a bit better, but it's still not great. So we'll need the attributes. So let's do that right now. Let's see this one. Let's suppose we're interested in the name and the price. So inspect this one. We see directly it's, it's got an ID name, simple, and this one with the price. It's got an ID price one, so that should be simple. We'll just pick this as we did for that one. 
So this is the name and just next to it the price page dot get one sorry that's it dot content dot strip and here instead of writing the title we're gonna write the attributes and uh, we don't maybe we don't need all the items so let's just take two of them and try to run the script again here we are that's great we've got some funny swedish le letters here but that's not really a problem so that's it we managed to create uh, a script, a s an API on top of IQ US in just uh, that few lines of code. So you can see it's really simple. Uh, it helps to keep track of the changes to the IQ website because we only have these uh, selectors to change. And the good point is that all the scrapper itself is already tested in the Store Explorer gem. So you don't have to deal with all that any issue with the memory consumption and all this kind of stuff is already tested in the store explore gem so thanks a lot for watching this video and uh, if ever you wish to contribute to store explore you're welcome you can find the project on github or on my uh, website thanks a lot goodbye <laughs>